All right, I'm back, closer to the moon than we've ever been before. I'm positioning myself for our lunar orbit entry burn. Trying to get right on the line there and hold it. Very nice, very nice. Uh, we're getting close to the periapesis. So let me just fast forward a little bit till I get a little bit closer and then we're both going to experience getting into orbit around the moon. Hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed. That's the motto of this mission. Fingers crossed. Alright, I think that's as close as I want to get. I don't want to pass it up. So, uh, let us thrust the engines up and see what happens. Alright, the circle is closing. I don't need it to close too quickly. Very nice. Is this working? Okay, let's slow down. That's happening pretty quick. All right, here we go. Slow down a little bit more. So I want control over this burn. That would be a weird orbit to be in. <laughs> Very nice. What am I at? 9.10. So I don't know. How close does one want to get to the moon? I'll stay above 100. Kilometers, that is. Metric system! <laughs> Perhaps 200. I'll stop at 200. Let's be reasonable here. All right, 199192, very nice. I suppose we are officially orbiting the moon. So congratulations, everyone involved. <laughs> Cigars all around. Let us get back into our spacecraft, very nice. Let's take a look at the Earth away, or not the Earth, Kerbin, planet Kerbin. So we're getting closer to the moon here. Awesome, so yeah, I'll bring you back in when uh, I reach the periapsis and then we'll we'll get this into more of a circular orbit. How am I doing on fuel? Not bad. I've still got uh, two spares to go and uh, this is this is working out very nicely for fuel consumption. <laughs> uh, we're being conservative here. Uh, so yeah I'll bring you back in when I reach uh, closer to the moon and then we'll get a circular orbit going. Uh, maybe we'll experiment a little bit to see how close we can get to the moon. We're not gonna land today. I didn't set up a landing pod on this thing so uh, so yeah, check back with you in a moment. In a moment, huh? Moon, moon. Uh. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm back and check out this view. We're staring at the dark side of the moon. Although technically, and I'm assuming is the same here for the, the moon, the Kerbin system, there is no such thing as the dark side of the moon, it's just the far side of the moon because uh, every side gets light, but I'm going to flip around here and prepare to do another retro burn because, as you can see, I'm approaching the periapesis and, uh, and we're going to try to get this into a more stable circular orbit around the moon perhaps take some images do some science, uh, and then we need to figure out how to get back, <laughs> back to Kerbin. Uh, oof, this is a long mission. So, uh, so yeah, actually, how long? Seven and a half hours in in the game time. It's been almost an hour here in real time. But uh, let's do that. Let's stay on the orbit like that. Very nice. Hold that. And we're right about there, so let's throttle up slightly. I think I'd like to keep it slightly above a hundred kilometers because I think 
uh, fast forwarding doesn't allow you to go past a certain speed uh, if you're below 100 uh, kilometers in altitude. Uh, so I don't want to, if I get stuck, I don't want to get stuck like waiting an hour for me to make one revolution of the moon so I can make my my burn back to a curb end. So this is working as planned. I'm gonna watch this number. Very nice. Said I'm going for just above a hundred, so right about now. Hey! Oh, good. Okay. Dang it! That I I must have hit the wrong button. All right. Ah, oh, dang it! Now I gotta. Let me see. Actually, all right. I'm still facing that direction. I want to see if my RCS thrusters can actually modify that for me. So let me. Turn off the SAS. Oh, that's not the one. That's the one, okay. So, N. Just above 100, come on, you can do it. Yep, very nice, okay. Well, in a pinch, you can use your RCS thrusters to modify your orbits. Uh, we still got another fuel tank left, so we're all good on there. Uh, let me turn that back on, and then, uh, amazing! It'll probably be more interesting when we're in the sunlight. Uh, ooh, or perhaps we can watch the Kerbin rising over the horizon. Rising over the horizon. Yeah, let's try to do that. Let me fast forward time a little bit. Get an onboard camera view. Oh, here it is. Ah, uh, curb and rise. Amazing. I suppose it would be even more amazing if uh, it wasn't the nighttime side of the planet, but we'll take what we can get. That's still pretty cool. And the sun should be next, and that's going to be a little bit bright. Ah, uh, how poetic. Woo, hello. Oh, that would have been the, the camera angle to use it in, but, uh, <laughs> but anyway. Uh, screenshot! <laughs> uh, I'm all about the screenshots. Hey, Bill's actually sort of kind of happy for once. How about it, Bob? Still a little bit indifferent. Uh, but yeah, let me uh, get back out to here. I'm going to do a little bit more mod modifications to the orbit. Uh, like I said, about 100 kilometers above the surface of the moon. Uh, and then after that, we're going to have to plan our return to planet Kerbin. Uh, which, if it behaves like entering orbit around the moon, I'm assuming uh, once I cross a certain threshold, uh, it's just going to put me on some sort of trajectory uh, automatically. So I don't know if it's completely necessary to be too on the ball on it with it, but uh, I guess we'll find out. So yeah, I'll, I'll bring you guys back in. Uh, perhaps we'll take a few more fleeting glimpses of this close orbit of the moon, and then uh, we'll begin to bring these guys back home. They're probably getting hungry. It's been almost eight hours. <laughs> we didn't give them any food or any other sort of supplies. They've been stuck in their seats all day. All right, I'm just doing the little bit of a maneuver here to face the opposite direction of which I'm heading so that I can uh, sort of uh, do my another burn to modify the orbit to make it more circular. Uh, the moon is very bright. It's blinding me. I'm blind. But uh, but they don't seem to be affecting the the googly eyes on our Kerman brothers. <laughs> oh oh oh! Passed it up. Come on, get back. Uh, right there. 
All right, so I think, oh, right there. Okay, let's throttle up. Bring this down to about 100. Oh, now that's kind of low. Dang it. Uh, oh well, that'll be fine. Yeah, 101 by 99. Not bad. Not bad for a an orbit of the moon. Our first moon, lunar, mooner orbit. Got the the sun and Kerbin in the distance. Very majestic. So yeah, let's uh, fast forward this spacecraft. It's probably going to be more interesting to look at the moon from the side as opposed to full head-on like this blinding. Uh, just because actually in astronomy it's better to look at the moon not when it's full but when it's kind of on the, the a quarter or you know a crescent moon because then you get all the the play on the shadows off the mountain ranges and the what are these things called craters and whatnot. Very nice. I don't know if they have that detailed of craters in this game, but eh. <laughs> it's alright, I guess. <laughs> I guess we can watch our planet set. It's going to be an eclipse of the planet. Ah, something like that. There it goes, over the limb of the moon, and then the sun is going to do the same. And blink. Very nice, very nice, very poetic. <laughs> but yeah, awesome. Moonar orbit. Very proud, dipping down a hundred kilometers away. Uh, now I need to start planning to return to Planet Kerbin. Uh, I'm assuming it's the same as always. I'll need to do a, a burn at the opposite side here. Uh, it's probably going to be a little bit easier uh, getting back to Kerbin because I don't. Kerbin obviously isn't moving relative to me. So all I need to do is just make sure I'm absolutely probably a good time to burn would be around here. I'm absolutely at the opposite end of the. The, uh, the thing, the uh, the orbit here, and then just stretch that side of the orbit around to match planet Kerbin. Uh, so yeah, that should work. Uh, let me, uh, I want to do a couple more orbits here just to give these guys some extra flying time. Uh, it, it actually would have taken, it took the Earth astronauts, was it like three days to reach the moon, so the Kerbin system is a little bit of a smaller scale, but that's fine. Uh, so I'm going to give these guys a little bit extra time, one more orbit around the moon perhaps, and then I'll I'll bring you guys back in when I'm ready to do my trans Kerbin orbit. I think is that's that's what it would be called, wouldn't it? Yeah, who knows? But orbiting the moon, exciting, very exciting. All right, I'm back, and as you can see, I've done another orbit. Uh, we're approaching ten hours in mission time. Uh, I'm about to. Uh, in a few moments here, when these, when my spacecraft pretty much lines up with the, you know, the line between the moon and Kerbin, uh, is when I'm going to do my my burn, uh, and then that'll hopefully put me on a trajectory back to Earth. So our Urban Earth Urban Kerbin, <laughs> and then uh, then we'll see uh, see what how that works out, and then of course we'll have to uh, position ourselves to get back into orbit around Kerbin, and then re-entry. Um, we, we appear to have enough fuel to do all of these things. We still haven't used our first uh, fuel tank, so that's nice. Uh, so yeah, let me 
be very gingerly about this. I found that the uh, the time warp function isn't very responsive. Like you could be warping and then you say, okay, back to one times, so there's still like a couple second lag between that time and, and the time it actually responds. So I don't want to overshoot this. That would be bad, very bad. So let's just go five times. I'm already positioned myself on the opposite side of the orbit. I position myself uh, the opposite and then by the time I reach this side, I'm actually facing the way I want to face. I'll have to do a little bit of an adjustment. Uh, but it looks like now would be the time to do this burn. Let me... I don't know why I always have to come back into this view. It's more interesting. Uh, careful, careful. I do want to stay on this 90 degree marker. I'd say right uh, uh, about... Okay. Hold that. Okay, very nice. So, as you can see, if you drew a straight line, you're going to the Earth. So, fingers crossed once again for our, our brave Kerbals. Let us throttle up. And see how this gets us back home. Alright, and stop. Gah! <laughs> my X button doesn't really respond as much as I needed to. Okay, let me let me use my uh, RCS system. Uh, does not seem to be working. Okay, balls to that. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, let me flip around really quick. Ah, SAS off. I need to do this with the swiftness, because I overshot. I don't know why X. When you click X, it's supposed to uh, cut off all your engines, but it didn't respond the last time, and it didn't respond this time either. Uh, all right, come on. Let's just face generally in this direction. All right, very nice. Okay. I want to throw... Oh, good lord. <laughs> okay. Uh, that should do. Yeah. I don't know if I'm getting too close there. I don't think so. Uh, I'm gonna be happy with this. Uh, it's a little bit off kilter. Um, oh, a little bit high up there. Uh, I don't know if I should flip around and try to... I want to do this one. Okay, yeah, okay, that worked out. I don't know why that didn't work before. Maybe I was hitting the wrong button. Uh, so yeah, here we go, heading back home. Uh, hopefully this works out just dandy. Uh, we will slowly fade away from the moon and we'll be back. Uh, probably maybe when I'm like halfway between the journey, we can watch the moon fade away into the distance. Uh, Bill and Bob are concerned once again. <laughs> no, I don't want to go home. <laughs> Taxes are in a couple months. Um, but uh, yeah, this looks like it'll work just dandy. So I'll once again, like I said already, bring you back in when we're ready to do this. All right, actually it hasn't been that long, but we're fast forwarding at a hundred times. So you can see we're drifting away from the moon. We're slowly getting away in this proper orbit. What is going on with our orbit? Uh, did I do it wrong? Crap. Um, what? Should I have aimed differently? Crap. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I can modify this by doing a burn right now. Shoot, did I not read up? on the basics of orbital mechanics. Let me... Perhaps I should have... Undershot it? Not sure. 
Ah, oh, the spinning is making me sick. Oh my god, just stop with the spinning, please. There we go. Alright. If I burn now, it'll elongate that side, right? Let's find out. Whoa, okay. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Uh, crap. Crap. Um, okay, you guys might be in orbit a little bit longer than anticipated. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what else I can do at this point, uh, so I'm just going to fast forward and see what happens. <laughs>